dear Libra, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of August with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And I hope you like the new Leo display to honor Leo's birthday month of August. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a four elements reading up message from the divine for the full members to this channel and what am I still carry from my first year, year of childhood is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for July to get a context and this is the prediction for August. I will start reading your cards and I use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. When I open your deck here, I see the Four of Swords together with the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like there's a pregnant pause between you and your loved one. This is Libra, by the way. I call the Divine with Love and Light. So it seems like cards wants to come reversed. And here we have the two of wands with the ten of pentacles. So there's definitely a distance between you two. Four of swords, two of wands. It's almost like you're not interacting, but it's the continuation of your relationship here. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the four of cups so someone is sulking in this relationship and um, um, don't want to uh, communicate or take the necessary action uh, even though they're still kind of into this relationship I can't see that they have found someone else or um, that they you know trying to create another life for themselves uh, six elements, two of coins, four of cups. This is someone that's very undecisive and they don't have uh, really an inside authority telling them what to do. They just have a lot of um, um, lot of uh, archetypes inside of them telling you what not to do or even relatives, friends, co-workers is discouraging them from living their best life. Uh, so this is a person that doesn't believe in, you know, happy endings, expecting um, sometimes the worst uh, and uh, are very protective of themselves and might have lose, lost hope a little bit. Okay, six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today. New beginning. And give us a clear view reading for my dear Libra viewers. So I want my dear Libras to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. Um, I also want uh, uh, creative success for you and uh, to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So I'm seeing inside of it all, this person is a really kind person. Um, they are a little bit confused what's the right thing to do. Um, possibly they, uh, they are pretty sensitive and are listening to what other people say. And when there's a lot of people saying a lot of different things, it makes this person uh, confused and even distrusting towards their own instincts. Okay. I will tune in to you and the person most on your mind and your relationship in August. This is the new bottom of the deck, Emperor. This person definitely needs to take authority over the life. They might have been very decisive towards you. We saw the Four of Swords, Two of Wands. So almost like you didn't matter or as if they didn't want to engage with you. Uh, but it's really because they don't want to let someone close, you know, another person to rule their life. And uh, this is the old bottom of the deck, eight of cups. So walking away. But I think they seen by even if they break up with you or don't talk to you, um, it's not you that's the problem. You know, wherever they go, there they are. 
eight of cups, eight of wands, four of swords. Uh, they think by ignoring the problem it will be solved. It's not going to be solved by ignoring it. And uh, even if they, you know, put every bad relationships behind, they will still feel uh, like this sadness or this uh, anxiety. Or it's like they are feel unsettled. It's um, like a restlessness inside of them. So this is what's on your mind, uh, where the person most on your mind, the situation with said person, this is what's on their mind with you, uh, your feelings towards them, the bond between you two, their feelings towards you, this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes, uh, the outcome for this relationship in August, and their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with a situation. And we have a Ten of uh, Cups, so much like the Ten of uh, Pentacles, it shows mutual love. Um, even if um, there's struggles in the relationship right now, it's almost like it has a very long future and possibly also a long past. Uh, we'll see. What, this is what's on your mind. You're pretty confused by this because uh, it would be so simple if this person would just, you know, stop um, fussing around and, you know, just love you. Uh, so you're probably uh, wondering what's going on in their mind and trying to figure this out. And this is what's on their mind, King of Swords. Uh, so as I said, they really don't need another person telling them what to do. That's what I'm feeling with this King of Swords. That uh, That's their main problem, that you know people tell them what to do, what's the best thing to do. It makes them very insecure. Uns it makes them feel as if... Uh, it's something wrong with them and they need this extra guidance all the time. I think it's a pretty smart, pretty kind person. But um, uh, because of um, people pressuring them with maybe less good advice, uh, they become confused and then they are confusing you. Because for you, this isn't logic at all. It's just, uh, you know, BS, <laughs> basically. Um, this is the bond between you two, Six of Cups. So reconciliation seems to be in schedule or um, like making amends, uh, getting second chances to try to fix this or, you know, make the relationship good or, or great again. Uh, this is your feelings. Nine of swords goes well with the confusion because um, you don't understand what's uh, going on with this other person, why they're behaving like this and... Um, why they are not allowing for your relationship to flourish. Uh, this is their feeling. So they do love you and um, they want this future with you. Uh, it's just that they're putting up the fences against being um, kind of people taking over their life. Or I don't think you have been doing that. You probably wanted to be treated in a way that's uh, you know normal for a love relationship but I think other people has almost persecuted this person or you know slapped them on the fingers and told them no that's not the way to do this I'll elbow them and say this is how you're supposed to do this so they might have had very accomplished parents that always think that they're right <laughs> or uh, maybe surrounding themselves with a lot of leadership um, leader type people a type people uh, so that themselves uh, started to feel as if um, they can never compete or compare themselves clarify the seven of cups there uh, what's on your mind strength uh, ten of pentacles yeah you for you this um, wouldn't be such a big problem it's just you know have the relationship uh, stop fussing about uh, let's uh, you know, move in together, start a family or just just be together. Uh, so you're confused why this isn't happening. Uh, what's on their mind? King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. Eight of Swords Temperance card. Uh, they are not free to love in the way they want. This is the alchemic wedding. Mm, often we are kind of drawn to the forbidden or the things that our parents doesn't allow us to uh, if they have really high expectations on our career, we might not want a career at all. And if they want us to marry an accomplished partner, we might choose uh, someone that uh, didn't even finish high school. 
Um, so I'm seeing a little bit teenage rebellion here, but it's not, it's not um, petty and it's not ridiculous. It's it's a person that's uh, uh, trying to free themselves of others' uh, unfair involvement. Here, this this is how they feel, and um, they are trying to break free by possibly doing. Uh, something that's um, not that's frowned upon in their culture or society or family uh, temperance card it i would say that it shows that they're very attracted to you but maybe for the wrong reasons that uh, you are someone that their parents could never approve of clarify the nine of swords eight of cups i think you're sad because this person walked away or chose to walk away and you don't understand what like when we find someone that we love, we should cherish them. We shouldn't uh, play games or, you know, make up problems. And for your point of view, it seems like they have made up a lot of problems that wasn't even there. Clarify the four of wands, six of wands. Chariot. So six of wands is not the best energy here. It's, it's really connected to the lovers and it's a sexual energy. So it's nice like that. But this person is riding away from you. And here they're also on a motorcycle. So it's as if they love you, but they not honor that. They, it's more important for them to compete with people or to show off. Or, so maybe it's more important for them to show off to their family or their friends or their tribe than to impress you. So they love you. Yeah, yeah, I love you. But this is more important here to, you know, show these people that I'm not a loser. And for some reason, I'm <laughs> turning towards the V as in victory. It's a victory symbol here also. And the V here. I don't know what's that's why that's significant. So, uh, v, it's victory, but it's also five. Five. Okay. Uh, so this is your behaviors and attitudes, King of Pentacles. So you're sitting steady, like you, you offer all this, you know, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups to people. You're not uh, messing about and um, you're still here. You're still, you know, um, engaged in this. And if this person would just stop with their, you know, their, it's as if they're not focusing on what's important instead of focusing on competition and looking good and you know showing these people that they have um, you know what it takes and ace of wands ace of wands six of wands four of wands it still feels as if maybe they use even you to compete like show you off or uh, trophy wife trophy husband four of wands they're very into you but I don't know why they're not focusing on this. Three of Cups, the Sun, Queen of Cups, here Font. Definitely, there's no obstacles really that's in between you and their love for you. Uh, with the King of Swords, they might not um, show their love in, in a very great way, but uh, they also want a future with you. And maybe they're rebelling towards these people captivating them by having a future with you. That's very possible. Clarify the King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So you're just here um, waiting for this person, uh, being disappointed of their behavior. And this is the outcome, the lovers. Clarify the lovers, Ace of Wands. So this person, Six of Wands, even if they're riding away from you and having this cool attitude, I think this temporary and they will, you know, come back to Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Wands. Sun is the highest card for love. Alchemist card is the second highest card for love in the whole tarot deck. It's being attracted towards your opposite. So, <clears throat> what's this person's aim? Goddess of the Moon. Um, you are confused. They are confused too. And they're trying to understand what's the right thing to do they don't have have uh, like the, all the answers they don't know they don't have all the experience but they're trying to figure out uh, what's the right thing to do in the eyes of god oh, i think they're talking a lot to to god actually goddess of the moon yin yang that's the temperance card uh taking in the opposite side it's almost like they're not allowed to take in their opposite side 
the surrounding has dictated how they are supposed to be. And if they take in their opposite side, uh, the surrounding can't control them anymore. Seven chakra Archangel Uriel. So they really need to connect with their, uh, with their higher self, with their uh, spirit guides, because then uh, they could get um feel more authority when they see that their own intuition is actually correct and um, then they can stop listening to these other people so i'll see what are you supposed to do uh ghost lands we also have metamorphosis and flying so ghost lands i will read that card for you that's a little bit where you are right now I feel with a king of pentacles and this five of cups. So like a nothing, no man's land. Uh, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in here and now. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing, for rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It's a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there. You can, uh, yet you can take measured steps towards a goal or a dream. The steps are important, but you can't live in the future. So it's almost like you're living in ghost land because you can't really appreciate your life when this person isn't around or isn't there. Uh, so of course you need to, you know, start to appreciate your own uh, situation and possibly try to disconnect from. Uh, thinking of this person uh, constantly even if they await you here in the future you need to go to uh, pretty serious metamorphosis here before you can even be together for real so that means uh, you know everyone makes this person so darn important like everyone has an opinion of how they should be and how they should act but with you, it's like people don't really care, okay? You are free to do whatever the age you want. And that makes you feel uh, a tad bit lonely. And um, this person has, <laughs> in some way, made themselves very interesting for people in their surrounding. And you are falling for it too. You're also making them very interesting. I think if you could focus more on yourself and your own metamorphosis, that there will be a more equal balance between uh, the two of you uh, so um, make yourself a little bit more interesting by not being like an open book for this person um, flying you have the power to see things from a higher perspective if you were a bird flying high in the air what would you see when you soar above a life's challenges and opportunities a new perspective become available Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. So you need to really see this situation from an above perspective because it's almost like you are in a state of craving this person and everyone craves this person to act in a certain way. If you let go of their sweater and you know start to live your own life, uh, I think they will be more interested in grabbing hold of your sweater uh, I will see what's going on with this person. I was serious about us. Inside me, I scream your name. I can't ever forget. I will fight for our love. So even if this person looks uh, like they're not interested, they will come back around um, when they have, like when they have been able to take charge over their own free will. Uh, I'm scared of you. I played you. This is for you. I'm scared of you. I played you. I'm thinking you are scared of them because you think that they played you. But I don't think they played you. They just didn't want to be um, shackled down or like eh, one more person telling them what to do. Um, okay, so looking into your situation here friend so stay friendly towards this person there's no need to add to the drama by acting better you know friendly but a little bit detached wouldn't hurt um see what's going on in your love life here with the lovers oracle passion insane chemistry like each other equally which also the ten of cups says abundance and stabbed in the back so this is what's so weird about your relationship that there's passion and abundance but then you constant, constant 
constantly get stabbed in the back by this person because they are you know afraid of you they're more scared of you i think than what you are scared of them you're scared that they are player but they are scared of you being like a slave master and um, so with their fear of you they keep a certain distance that make you very sad and feel very abandoned and stabbed in the back but it's not really personal uh, they're just trying to and an old pattern that uh, they see repeat in their life with their um, their tribe or the people that drawn into them. Maybe you are trying to boss them at, as well. I don't see that at all. Uh, but maybe there's certain things you would like them to change or that they would behave in another way. And maybe you have told them about this and it's partly what can be freaking them out. But I don't think that's the main issue. The main issue is um, uh, that... Um, don't make this person the center of your universe because everyone makes this person the center of their universe and you know meddle in what they do and what they don't do if you pay less attention and don't make them so darn interesting I think they will find find you a little bit more interesting <laughs> okay so uh, I would urge you to watch the uh, reading what do they want to happen between you and the love reading for July to learn more about this relationship and if you want to see new and exclusive readings from me and watch the channel normal reading in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and the personal questions uh, readings for elements readings and all signs readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button that will appear or Follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. Thank you for watching this far. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when the next video is out. Take really good care until, this, <laughs> until then. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.